Welcome to English Country Life. This is part two of our collaboration with Coffee with the Chicken Ladies following cinnamon through incubating, hatching and raising chicks. This week we're going to talk about caring for your hen while they're brooding. Welcome, my name's Fiona. Cinnamon's been in her coop for over a week now, so we're well into the second week. I'm working with Holly and Chrissy from Coffee with the Chicken Ladies, and we're having a round table discussion each week about the progress of cinnamon with her eggs and her chicks once they're hatched. This week we're talking about how to keep our hens healthy while they're in the brood coop. The first thing we can do, we covered in week one of the blog and the podcast, which is around isolating the brood hen into a separate coop with a run, and that's so that they have peace and quiet and other hens aren't coming in and competing for that space. Let's have a look at some of the other things we now need to consider to keep cinnamon healthy. I've taken the side off the coop so you can see cinnamon in her nest. And you might notice that the coop is absolutely immaculate. If you go into a normal coop, they will be feces. Chickens don't mind pooping where they sleep. Now brood hen needs to make sure that there's no feces or poop inside the nest area. And that's because an egg has thousands of microscopic holes in the shell. It's possible that bacteria could encroach through those holes and damage the development of the chick. That can cause some other problems though, because clearly the brood hen is still eating and still generating poop within her body, but she'll hold on to it. So we need to check that she's letting it out and there's an easy way that we can do that here and I'll show you how we do that. This is where the run becomes a completely invaluable asset all over again. As we've said, she won't poop in the coop, so our only other option is to poop in the run. If we see creases out here, everything's good. If we don't, we may need to consider taking action. And we have a rule that if we haven't seen poop in the run on day two, we will lift her out and let her have a run. And that's where we're at today. Up till now, Cinnamon's been fantastic and she's come out once a day and done her business. But this is the second day and we're about mid-afternoon now where we haven't seen any poop inside the run area. So we need to lift her out and let her have a, a run in the wider field and just get all that out of her body. <laughs> Broody hens are really funny when you first lift them out. They'll sit on the ground as if they're still trying to brood. And this can go on for quite a few minutes. All of a sudden there'll be a massive explosion of energy and they'll get rid of all of that pent up energy they've been saving up while they've been sitting still inside the coop. The first thing that cinnamon does is poop and the second thing is head for the sand bath. This is a real luxury for her. She's sitting on that nest incubating her eggs all day and all night and the odd bath is just what she needs. After a short while, Cinnamon wants to head back to the nest, so all I need to do is open the door to the run and let her back in. Meet Halloumi, one of our rare breed Old English pheasant fowl, and she is actually one of my favourite chickens. She's brooding on some crested cream leg bar eggs for us and she's doing a tremendous job. But we did have a problem with her. This is the first time that she's ever brooded and once again the poop told us the story. With Halloumi it was different to cinnamon so she wasn't holding it in her body. She was coming out once a day but her poop was entirely liquid and that told us that she wasn't eating any solid food 
food whatsoever. So what we needed to do was make sure that she found something that she would eat before she lost too much weight. It's possible, and I have heard stories of some chickens starving themselves while they've been brooding. Now we've never had this before, this is a first experience for us. And that's really quite amazing with all the years we've been breeding chickens. So we've tried all sorts of things. We've put food in her coop, she's had growers pellets in there. She's had chick crumb hasn't touched either of them. So we've tried whole wheat, we even tried mixed corn, both of which the chickens normally go crazy for. She wasn't interested. We've tried treats like strawberries and grapes. She wouldn't touch them. The only thing we found that she really, really loved was a favorite of hers when she was a small chick, which was chick crumb with some hot water over the top made into a mash. And I think the first day we hit on this as a solution, she ate her entire body weight in this mash. She absolutely loved it. Now since then we've had another chicken called Rowan who hasn't been eating quite enough. She has been eating but not enough. So we have supplemented her with the same thing. The chick crumb with hot water over the top made into a mash. And she again went crazy for it and has absolutely loved it. So if you have this situation just give that a try as your first stop and it probably will encourage them to eat. If you want to know whether your chicken is starting to lose a lot of weight while they're sitting on the eggs, just very carefully slip your hand underneath and feel their muscles around their sternum. There are various diagrams online which will tell you how to check whether your chicken is of normal weight, overweight, underweight or dangerously underweight, which are really useful just by measuring the amount of muscle around that sternum point. So you don't necessarily have to take them off the nest and weigh them, you can simply feel that muscle to give yourself a good indication to see whether you need to take action or not. But Halloumi is doing ever so well now, aren't you my love? Shall I leave you alone? It's a good girl. That's caring for your chicken while she's on brood. And I think the motto of this story is chicken poop is your friend. And it's one of the best reasons for us having a run attached to the coop because we can see if there's a problem because we can see her poop in isolation. If it's too liquid, we need to get her to eat. If there's nothing at all, we need to get her out and encourage her to run around and let those feces outside of her body. Now don't be surprised that a broody hen's poop stinks to high heaven. It doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with your chicken it just means she's held it into in her body for longer than they normally would but it really does stink it's a nasty smell but it doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with your hen don't forget to listen to holly and chrissy on their brilliant podcast that's coffee with chicken ladies and of course come back next week to join us on the vlog if you have liked this content, take a moment and give me a thumbs up below. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to answer you as soon as possible. If you're not already a subscriber, come and join us. Hit the subscribe button and the notifications icon and you'll get to know of every new video as soon as it's published. But for now, thanks for watching and we look forward to seeing you next time. Mm -hmm.